Well, howdy. Howdy dowdy. <laughs> so uh, today me and Harley are making some terrariums. Um, we went to the Cactus and Tropicals place that we took you along and we saw that big one and we thought it was dandy. So we wanted to try to make our own because it was a little out of our budget. <laughs> yeah. So it was $299. Yeah. It was so neat. I don't even know how they put the plants in there because it was like a skinny mouth. There's like a bottle. tool. Oh, you can buy there? tools that you can like slide the plants in and dig them around. Like they have really, they're really skinny and small. Oh. I was looking it up when okay. I to do this because I wasn't sure. Well, it was beautiful, but these ones will be beautiful too. So I bought this jar at Walmart and it was less than 20 bucks. So. I think it'll be really cute and I'm grateful that it has the big mouth on the top because I don't have one of those little doohickeys. So. Doohickey <laughs> doodahs. And then this is the one I got. It also has a lid and a big opening. I got it at the DI for a dollar and I just like cleaned it out. So sweet. Yep. The DI is a second hand store here. Oh yeah. I, don't, like I think it's shop. just in Utah, right? Deseret Industries is what yeah. it technically is called. But so for mine, I found this cute little mushroom at the dollar store. I think that'll look really cute in there. And then I got this uh, piece of wood. It's actually a cactus that has like... No, uh, uh Yeah, I can't remember what cactus right now. If I remember, I'll insert it in my video anyway. Sorry. That's okay. But, um, and then I got some black gravel dollar store. The soil is miracle Grow, mixed with perlite and some peat moss. And then just some cute little plants to put in there. So, um, yeah. Oh, I got to show you guys this one. This is called, uh, so I bought Harley for Christmas this, uh, the pink princess philodendron. I showed it in my recent plant haul, or plant tour. Yeah. And I guess the person who, I did it on eBay, <laughs> and it was a rather expensive plant for how small it was. And I think the person must have felt bad that I paid so much for the plant that they sent me this extra one. And it's uh, called a Begonia Bogneri. You'll have to look it up. Um, and it's actually doing good at my house as long as I don't take it out of this bag. It's got two flowers on it. Well, one now because one yeah, broke off. I just accidentally broke one off. but So I'm going to put that in there. And I'm rather excited about it. So, yep. Okay, so okay. should we just get to it? Yeah, so what are you? what's your game plan? I thought I was going to put these at the bottom. Yeah. Do you want to use the larger ones of these at the bottom? No, because my thing's too big. I bought, I'm going to use all these ones. I'm going to put black on the bottom. Yeah. Or, or blah, 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 blah. I'm going to put this on the bottom and then a layer of soil, plant my plants, and then I'm going to put the other two on top. What are you going to do? I'm going to put this on the bottom okay. and then put a layer of charcoal and then put a layer of soil. Yeah. We forgot to mention that. Um, we've got, we just pulled some. Whoa. Oh, I hope that didn't go everywhere. Oh, good. We just... Yeah. Hang on. You also need horticultural charcoal, or in our case, we're just going to use charcoal from my mom's... Charcoal from my mom's fireplace. Yeah. To help prevent um, mold. Yeah. But where these lids can be easily removed, mold isn't as much of an issue because if we notice it's getting too moist, you can just remove the lid. Yeah. And let it evaporate out a little bit. So... But with the lids, um, it actually makes it so that you never have to water this. It mimics the water cycle on the earth mm -hmm. if it's done right. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, that is really cool. And like the research I was doing, it was saying that you should only see like precipitation droplets. You should only see precipitation droplets on the around the jar in the morning and the evening but if you're seeing it there throughout the day then you have too much water in it and you should take the lid off to let it evaporate out a little bit um, until you only see it like in the morning and night did that make sense no it didn't but that did make sense and you know what's cool is my house in the morning there's um 
Yeah, like mildew, or not mildew. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, really dew drops. Good. Yeah, like condensation on the inside of my windows in the morning and at night. Yeah. So, so I must have good moisture in here. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. But if you're seeing it all day, that means it's way too moist and you're going probably to get mold. So. Okay. <laughs> that's a good thing to know. <laughs> you're a good talker. I'm a great talker. Thanks. Thanks. I learned it from my mom. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so I'm going to put some of my little pebbles at the bottom. So am I. Mine are a little bit littler than hers. Yeah, that's why I was saying you want like a thin layer to put at the bottom of these. Well, then you that's won't all... have enough though. It's okay. No, it's not. Yeah, I have enough. That's enough, isn't that's it? That's all you want? Is yeah. that, and you're not putting any on top? No, I was just going to put it so that it like is more on the... No? Huh? I wasn't going to put any on top. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll use some. So what happened is I was buying my supplies at Walmart and I looked at the fish gravel and it was like $15 a bag. I'm like, are you kidding me? I would have had to buy two bags for this. So then I went to the dollar store and it was a little smaller, but it was only a dollar. See? Okay, that's all I need. And I just put it so that there's more on the outside so you can like see the layer a little more. And then on the inside, I did it a little bit thinner. So. Oh, hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. Can I just dump this yeah. in there? Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Sharing is caring. Yep. Oops. Seems to be half full. Yeah, sharing is caring, especially because we got in like four fights today already. <laughs> <laughs> we did. I think it's just a mother and daughter thing. Yeah. And last week when we had a fight, we were like, you said, well, it's better to be able to talk about it and then get over it yeah. than to keep it all bottled up. So now we just let everything <laughs> Yeah, everybody <laughs> thinks we're just best friends 24-7, but yeah. that's not the case. She frustrates me more than anybody in the whole world. Yeah. And same. <laughs> like, really, I'm not even being dramatic. I'm not either. And the thing is, we're so much alike, too. And that's real annoying, also. Yeah, so that it kind of makes me, like, I don't know. But, but it's all good. I mean, we have each other's backs, and we yeah. still like to hang out. Yeah, I hang out with my mom other. more than anybody else, if that says anything. Yeah. So, how frustrating other people are to me. Is no compare is like a good comparison because I don't hang out with anybody else because they frustrate <laughs> me too much. So just imagine. Oh, that's oh, so cute. That's really cute. Yeah, I didn't know if it'd be cute, you know, because yeah. it's black. I would rather have brown ones, but I'm happy I'd with that. I'd rather have black ones now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> so mad. <laughs> I think yours is going to be way cute. Okay. I think this one. little teapot is going to be adorbs. And I got this also at the DI for like 50 cents. And my grandma also really likes to yard sell and she buys me a lot of random stuff like this. Uh -huh. This isn't from her, but I have some things from her. Yeah. And that'd be cute in these two. Yeah. So. My mom likes little tiny things. Yeah. Everything. Little like tiny. I really do have things just like this all over my house from grandma. Yeah. yeah. Me too. We're That's like, cute. we have to close all of our blinds and lock the door when she gets home <laughs> from the yard cell and like duck behind the couch. <laughs> and oh, she brings you all time, this stuff. My grandpa went yard selling and he had this basket of like cassette tapes. <laughs> We're like, good fight. He's like, do you want these? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> But yeah, what's a cassette tape kind of? I like I know what it is. I've never yeah. I I've ever used one. Like though. no one uses those. <laughs> he's so funny, but, but he's like, I got it for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And one time he bought something, he didn't even know what it was. We were over there for lunch, and he's like, I got this for only one dollar, but he had no idea what it was. But it was such a great bargain. So oh, they made me laugh. <laughs> that was a tangent. Yeah. But stuff like that is great. If you I have know. a cassette tape you don't know what to do with anymore, plop it in your feet. <laughs> you could do like an under the sea one. That'd be cute. Because uh, they're probably 
Is that what you're doing? When I hit 20,000, I'm building an aquarium underwater and it's basically the same thing, but underwater. Cute. So once I hit 20,000, that's my, that's the big video. When I hit 10, it was my variegated Monstera unboxing. 20 is going to be, I'm going to set up a fish tank. Wow. I've been thinking that I wanted a fish tank too, but then I'm like, oh, you have to clean those. <laughs> you do, but it's actually so really like, easy if like... you if you use live plants. Oh. Because it's the natural cycle again. And that's fun. It's that's just different. Fun. Yeah, so I'm going to do it with live plants, and we're going to do like an actual aquascape without any like fake stuff. Are you so, going to do like salt water or fresh water? Fresh water to okay. start out. I want to get into the fish keeping hobby, but... Those saltwater fish are so wow. I know. So that's the goal in the future, but for now I'm gonna stick with like a beta and maybe a couple <laughs> shrimp. Shrimp? Yeah, I'm gonna put a couple shrimp, um, those little African underwater frogs, and then maybe a couple little guppies, and I'm going to get I think like a 15 or 20 gallon tank. Cute. Or maybe a 10 actually it might be. You could probably watch on the Facebook yard sales for yeah. a tank. Because people always buy those and they're like, oh yeah, I have to clean this. Whoops. <laughs> Let's put it on the Facebook yard sale. But really using live plants helps. It's the natural cycle. Like yeah. you're basically just recreating your own world. Do you think that's enough soil or do I need more? Uh -oh. Probably more. This isn't going to fit, so I'm probably going to have to saw it in half or something. Do you have a saw? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just whip it out of my butt. <laughs> your butt. Ew. <laughs> How am I going to cut this? Mm. Shouldn't have been too extravagant about it. I pulled this out of my flower bed outside <laughs> when I went to I thought you were going to say out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going for an uneven one. So I filled it up so parts of it are like higher than others and it'll naturally settle how it needs to settle. Actually, I'm going to adjust that a teeny bit. Fun. Yeah. I've got to break this. Excuse me. So, yeah, I did oh. it. Oh, that was easy. I did it so that it's about an inch and a half to two inches at its thinnest point. That's so cute, Mom. Thanks. I need to break it again now, but... Oh. Oh. <laughs> you got it? I think I just got a sliver. Really? Can I have this? <laughs> This is gonna fit in my jar. <laughs> nice little. Okay. <laughs> Does that look cute? Yeah, that looks really cute. Okay. And then my little mushroom. Okay. And so for my plants, we have some options here. There's this little piece of ivy. Oh gosh, I just pulled my mom's plant out of the dirt. <laughs> That's okay. Cause I'm gonna. I'll just put it in here real quick. Okay. I'm, I knew I saved this for something. Yeah. It's cute. Oh, it is really cute. How, how this you, one isn't rooted, so I'm just going to like stick it in. How however. do you fill up with a mushroom placement? Is that good? Yeah, that looks cute. Are you just saying no, that? No, I think that looks really good. Up? It looks very feng shui, mom. Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> you are so zen and feng shui. I didn't want to hear that. That felt sarcastic or something. It fits one plant and I still have several. <gasps> this is going to grow up this <gasps> Shut up. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for you, little guy. All right. So I got the charcoal in there under the dirt. Here's what my guy's looking like so far. Cute. You didn't even see it from its front. Aw, really cute, huh? Yes, I love it. I need to like a very small, maybe can I actually take this? Yeah. For sure? Mm hmm That's what it's for. Aw, cutie. And then, so I, we have this little, well, my mom is sharing her little peperomia ripple. Is this a ripple? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put this in the very front because it's a low rider. I've been holding my breath, that's why I breathed like that. <laughs> <laughs> With a little whistle. <laughs> Dude. I think I'm going to grab some of this. You guys remember this 
salad janella, however you say it. Huh? Hern. I'm gonna put some of that in there. It's so cute. Maybe in a couple little spots. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. You little freaking rose crystal, get out of my way. Okay, I'm putting the Bognari in now. Um, look at the flower, you guys. Hopefully you can see it from there. Just in case I pull it off on accident. What if it grew another one? <laughs> Shut up. That'd be neat, huh? Yeah. Sorry, I feel aggressive. <laughs> How cute. Whatever. I'm done. I think I might put a little spray of that in here too. Do you have a spray bottle? Yeah. Of course I do. I have a spray bottle. Can I actually use some of these? Yeah. Like spray in there I guess. Yeah. They said to spray down the sides. Probably that cleans it off. Because I got dirt all over mine. I'll start with a little and add more as I... That's always a wise decision. Continues to spray more. <laughs> Cute! Pop the lid on, and I'm done. That was a stressful... How many minutes has this been? Probably like 30 minutes. I'm not done yet. Have you ever made a terrarium? Yeah. I'm very genuinely curious and... If you have, what did you put in it? How did it do? Like, is it still alive? What? Can you send us a picture on Instagram? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that log or whatever, the cactus bone out of the log. Yeah. It sure did. I'm excited. And this makes me even more excited to do my fish tank. <laughs> yeah, that'll be so fun. There's something. Yeah, when you were little, you used to catch bugs all the time, and I feel like you were making your own little worlds. I was. Yeah. I remember when I was little, too, I had a shoebox full of potato bugs. <laughs> that, and I drew, like, the rooms inside the shoebox for them, and yeah. You were a weird kid. <laughs> I was an only <laughs> child, basically. No, you had potato bug siblings. <laughs> yeah. And a goat. <laughs> yeah. Look, I like how you can see the layers. Me too. Can you see any places that need more gravel? You're going to cover your plant though. I think it'll grow up through. Do you? Because isn't it a fern? Yeah, but ferns are invasive in tropical regions. And this is a tropical region. Right? It's whatever you want it to be. You're the creator. And I'm sure we'll do an update later on. Oh, for sure. See if A, they're still alive, and B, <laughs> if they are alive, how will they're doing? I don't know. We've set them up for success, I feel like. So now, the water thing. I think we already told you that um, if this is done correctly, like, you don't ever have to do anything. Yeah, you should just, theoretically, you should be able to leave the lid on. Um, I think in the beginning it'll just be a matter of, like, you may have to add a little more water or let it dry a little bit. Just find the sweet spot. Okay, guys, well, I'll show you a close-up here. I guess that's about it for this project so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this with us and I hope you all have a great day and remember to plant on.